Hey guys, so one of the things that I do quite often on this channel is cut holes for uh, loudspeaker drivers into MDF or uh, whatever material I'm using for a baffle uh, for a project. Now, normally I would just do that with my plain old circle, circle jig. I've got a trim router attached to it. And this is usually um, quite easy and uh, accurate to use. Um, however, every time I use the same driver, uh, which I do quite often in my different projects, I have to set up the circle jig every time. Um, and that can be a bit of a pain. So uh, one thing I can do is to use a CNC router, which I do have, but I've been having so much problems with it over the years that I've just given up on it for now. Uh, so the next best thing is to use something like a template. Uh, something that I can use over and over again without any issues. So uh, I've got this Xtool D1 Pro. It's a 20 watt diode uh, laser from Xtool. Uh, and I'm going to use this to cut a template that I can use on one of my upcoming builds where I'm using a SB Acoustics a 6 inch paper cone driver. Um, so um, I have found that the Xtool Pro, Pro can cut through about 9mm MDF in a few passes. Um, and it gives me quite accurate results. So let's go over to the Excel Pro and see uh, what it can do and how I'm going to be setting this up. I am using Lightburn to draw up the template. The template consists of three circles. The larger outer circle is the overall diameter of the driver. The inner circle is the diameter of the mounting hole and the small circle in the middle will be used as a registration point. In the small circle in the middle, I will use a 5mm shelf pin to register the template in the center of where I want to cut the holes in the speaker baffle. You will see me use this later in the video. After placing the 9mm MDF and setting up the height of the laser head for cutting, I run the laser at 250mm per minute and 100% power for two passes. So I've messed up a little. Um, I didn't quite cut through my 9mm MDF with the laser. Uh, on my normal settings with uh, 250mm two passes, uh, this normally would cut straight through. Uh, but I think the problem is that I, um, I did not lift it up off the bed. So there's a little bit of space underneath it and that actually makes the laser cut through better. It was lying flat on the surface. Um, I also think it's because this board is slightly bowed and um, that didn't actually help either. Now I managed to mess up the only piece of 9mm MDF that I have so um, it's going to be on to 6mm six six MDF of which I have uh, quite a bit left. Um, and what I'll do is I'll uh, do the first cut on the laser cutter and then I'll stick another piece of MDF uh, to that and then I will use a... Uh, a, a router copy bit just to trim out um, the excess of the piece that I've stuck to it. So we end up a template that's about 12 millimeters thick. I lifted the 6 millimeter MDF off the surface by about 3 millimeters with a few spaces and ran the program again. This time it cuts through successfully. You will also see that I added some engraved text to identify the template and also a line from the center of the circles to the outside of the circles to align the different pieces again once they are cut out. The Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt is really an amazing machine and as said before it can easily cut through 9mm MDF in two passes when you set it up right and not do what I did. If you are considering getting this laser machine definitely also consider getting the honeycomb panel set to rest your material on. Xtool run many special deals throughout the year and I will leave a link in the description below where you can find the latest discounted deals and promo codes that they offer. So go check it out. To increase the thickness of the template, I glue another piece of 6mm MDF to the parts that I cut with the laser. I can then use the trim router with a flush cut bit to cut the excess. The trim router that I'm using is from Banggood.com and very similar to a Makita trim router in that it fits all the Makita accessories and 18 volt batteries. I have been using it for a while now and I must say it is very good and also appears to be good quality. I am also using a spiral flush trim bit from Banggood.com 
and that also performs really above my expectations. I will leave purchase links in the description box below. Go check these out. All the template pieces now are approximately 12 mm thick and they still fit together very nicely. You may wonder why my template consists of three pieces, so I will show you now how I will be using this template to cut the driver hole and rebate. The first thing to do is to mark the center of the hole on the baffle. I can then use a 5mm drill bit to drill a hole for the shelf pin to register into. Take the centerpiece of the template with a shelf pin and put it in place. I then use a few strips of masking tape to keep the inner and outer ring secure so that I can turn it over and apply double sided tape. This assembly is then pressed in place over the centerpiece, making sure my registration lines are lining up perfectly. I can now remove the centerpiece and the masking tape. The assembly is clamped to the workbench and I use my trim router with a flush trim bit to cut the inner mounting hole. I don't cut all the way through, but rather about three quarters of the way. I will later turn it over and make the rest of the cut all the way through. The inner ring can be removed so that we can cut the rebate for the driver. I set the router bit to cut to the required depth which is the thickness of the driver flange. The template can now be removed and the double sided tape rubbed off. The baffle is turned over so that I can drill a hole for the router flush trim bit to fit through and cut the rest of the through hole for the driver. The driver fits perfectly, usually I want to allow some tolerance since I will be finishing the final enclosure with a filler primer and a top coat of paint. This adds uh, roughly about 0.5mm or so and will make the driver fit even better. So finally, that's how I use a laser to cut templates. Um, it's easy, accurate and gives me repeatable results. So if you have an easier or different way of doing it, uh, or a suggestion then please leave me a comment down below. Uh, X tool uh, run a number of specials during the course of the year um, and I will leave uh, a link in the description where you can go check out what specials and discounts they have on at the moment. 
Um, if you want to support this channel further, please consider becoming a patron uh, or a YouTube member. I often publish uh, behind the scenes content uh, on those platforms. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. And until next time guys, adios.